The main objective of this video is to provide basic information on the cleaning process of books and documents in a library or archive. Cleaning a collection prolongs its life and makes it less vulnerable to organic and inorganic materials, which accumulates over the years. There are several factors to consider before beginning the cleaning process. A careful evaluation of the intrinsic and extrinsic values of the materials is extremely important and will determine the scope of your project. Extrinsic value represents the social and historical character of the collection, as well as its monetary value and uniqueness. Intrinsic values includes the physical aspects of the book or the document, such as the materials they are made, its conservation condition. These values will determine the type of treatment, the number of people working on the project, and the duration. Carefully examine your materials to answer the following questions. Are they stable or fragile, brittle due to acidity or iron gall ink? Is there any mold, dust, insects? Are there pencil markings? If there are any written marks on the materials, do not remove them. Some of the cleaning procedures described next should only be done by trained staff. If you have not been trained, perform only the basic procedures. remember, you should first assess the physical condition of your historical books. In many instances, cleaning is not recommended. Start on the outside of the book. Hold it firmly and clean the edges with a brush, a soft cloth or dry sponge from the spine to the foredge. While cleaning inside, Carefully use a brush or a sponge to wipe the surface of the book. Be careful to not apply too much pressure. Start from the center of each page, then move outwards. This will prevent any dust or dirt getting into the gutter of the book. Repeat the movement on the whole surface, always starting from the center then outwards. If you have dust or dirt inside the gutter, the use of our air blower will also help. Using gloves may increase the chances of physical damage, but nitrile or latex gloves are always recommended when dealing with mold or other potential hazards. Cleaning with a HIPAA filter vacuum is necessary when the collection has a high degree of dust, dirt or mold. A HIPAA filter captures much smaller pollutants and particles than any other types of filters, although it does not filter out or remove gases and other molecules. It's important to consider the size of the vacuum attachments. The smaller attachments will help with maneuvering while cleaning. 
If you have fragile items, using a screen placed over the paper will prevent the suction of any loose pieces. Controlling the vacuum suction intensity is important. A lower setting is safer for the materials. You can also cover the vacuum intake with remake cloth to prevent the suction of small pieces. Prevention is the best way to avoid mold growth in your collection. Ideally, your storage area should be kept at constant temperature, between 60 and 68 degrees Fahrenheit, with the humidity level around 45%. Mold has different colors and shapes. In advanced stages, they break the fibers of the paper, making it weak and pulpy, destroying the history they contain. If you have mold, the use of a HIPAA filter is highly recommended. Mold is hazardous not only to your collection, but also to your health. It can actually damage your immune system. When cleaning mold, wear non-porous gloves, protective eyewear and masks are always recommended. Consult our poster for more specifications. Collection of books and documents are vulnerable to absorbing all different types of odors. Odors are something that cannot be avoided in a library or archives, where all sorts of books and documents have been collected from a wide variety of vendors and donors. With the help of a deodorizing chamber, you may be able to remove some of these following odors found in collections. container with a lid, a small grid shelf, and zeolites. Zeolites are minerals with the ability to trap impurities and odors from the air, and so does the same for books and paper documents. Other odor absorbents are activate charcoal and baking soda. After assembling your deodorizing chamber, place the book or books on the shelf. If necessary, insert a few pieces of a thick paper between the pages. This will keep the book fanned open and stable on the shelf. Keep the lid closed for a few weeks to allow the zeolites to absorb odors. If necessary, you can keep the books in the chamber for a longer time and repeat it as needed. By performing these simple actions, you can help preserve important books and documents in your collection.